Hi there. Uh, welcome to Back to School Night for English 2A. My name is Jeff Wasserman. Um, I just wanted to start by saying just how much I'm really enjoying working with this class um, so far. They've just been outstandingly cooperative and you know, challenging when they need to be. They have great discussions. They're really reading the literature uh, and they're working really, really well together. Um, you know, I think they're very happy to be in the building. Um, I think they're happy to see their friends and meet some new people. Um, sophomores this year have had kind of a, an interesting past couple of years. So um, it's really good to see how well they are doing uh, back in something approaching a normal classroom environment. Um, this is my seventh year at Watchung Hills. It's my 19th year teaching overall. Um, and I have not lost that spark. I am just really, really excited to be in the classroom uh, every day. And these students are making things very, very easy on me uh, in terms of, um, you know, their their level of cooperation with myself, with, with others, uh, their willingness to push each other and to push themselves, I think is really going to be a great year. I just want to tell you a little bit about how the class works and show you a couple things and uh, then you can be on your way and you can always reach out to me if you've got any questions about anything. Uh, my email address is right here. Um, you know, please don't hesitate and I will get back to you as soon as I humanly can. Okay, so um, this is a sophomore English class. Um, we are working on expanding our writing and reading skills, um, really focusing on writing analytical paragraphs um, and strengthening grammar. Um, we're doing a lot with grammar this year. I've got a whole thing set up with Khan Academy so the students can work at their own pace on the grammar skills with me coaching them through it. Um, but yeah, I, I really think of myself more as a writing teacher than anything else. So that's that's gonna be a big focus this year. I I told the students at the beginning of the year, um, stick with me. I will make you a better writer by the time you are a junior. Uh, I, I will stand by that. They're going to be doing a lot of writing. They're going to do a lot of revision. They're going to be doing a lot of talking about writing. And that's the way that, that, you know, that we're going to do it this year. Um, they actually have just finished writing their first, um, you know, process essay of the year. It was about two stories by Nikolai Gogol, uh, The Nose and The Overcoat. Um, we were looking at uh, more sophisticated ways of thinking about setting and character and plot. Um, and uh, I'm really interested to see what they do on their next writing assignments. I, I've designed the year so that the first writing assignment, I take them through it very, you know, very deliberately, very step by step. The second writing assignment, which is going to be about this short poetry unit that we're in now, um, you know, that they're going to have a little bit more independence on. And then when we start reading um, our first novels of the year, which are The Bluest Eye and When the Emperor Was Divine, the students will have, you know, a little bit more independence and I'll expect more independence of them. Um, but also uh, they'll be working with a longer, uh, you know, longer pieces of writing. So there's just more for them to get their heads around. So I'm trying to build up that skill and that and that writing stamina and reading stamina as well. OK, here are the um, the books that we've got for this year. Um, and as I said, you know, we're starting with a short story unit and a poetry unit. Um, so as I said, um, you know, we start with a short story unit and a poetry unit just to work on sharpening the skills with um, shorter works and then gradually build up to reading some of these longer works um, and focusing on building reading um, stamina, which is a really important thing um and also uh you know the ability to do literary analysis over a much larger work so you'll see these books coming home um, throughout the year all of the uh homework policies and all that kind of stuff are up on our english department website um i am really going to try to build students uh advocacy skills this year as well i think that's a really important part of their social emotional learning just the the ability and the knowledge of how to um, how to approach somebody for help, how to recognize when you need help, how to ask for help, um, how to be polite about it. So I'll be working with the students on that. And one of my goals is that by the end of the year, every student will be asking for help when they need it, advocating for themselves via email, in person, however they want to do it. Um, so I have a few ways of, of working through that with them. Um, we work on a total point system. Uh, any 
assessments that are actually graded uh, will be you know assigned a certain number of points and then students can earn those points by you know meeting the standards and exceed the expectations and things like that so all of the um, assignments that i create are posted onto google classroom um, we're using that just for submitting work staying relatively paperless this year um, for many reasons uh, you can get access as a parent or guardian to google classroom there's a way to sign up um, let me know if you have trouble doing it uh, but you can get either a daily or a weekly digest of the work that's been assigned and the work that your student has submitted and possibly has not submitted um, we have a class website i will show that to you uh, in just a moment um, but that's another great resource for you and for your student to find out what's going on and then of course you can always reach me by email let me show you that website real quick um, so it looks like this the link to it is in um, it's in my email um, the students have it in Google classroom it's pretty easy to find um, I made that tiny URL for it and I also put the link to it in the um, you know the Google classroom announcement where you found this video so each day um, I have a a web page that's got the instructions for the day it's got you know the objective the question we're trying to answer the standards um and then it has what we're doing um you know this is i i, I found this to be a really uh, great way to kind of collect everything to give the students a way of anticipating what's coming up i know a lot of students like to have sort of an outline of the class so this they have that um and then all the links that we're using um any documents that we're using are available in here um has the homework um tells you how to submit it and it has like all the resources and everything that that you might need so that's kind of cool the other thing that i really like about this is i was able to make uh, a link that appears at the top of every page uh, for students to sign up for extra help this if you click on this it takes you to my calendar um, for signing up for extra help and students can just pick a time slot that works for them um, it sends me a notification on my phone and it tells me that i need to make sure to be available for that student um, so I think that's that's pretty helpful. That's really about it. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you might have. Um, I'm here to support you. I'm here to support your student. We're all going to work together and make this a really successful and terrific year. So thank you so much, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you.